So this is the traditional first day of school picture from our front porch. Yes, our kids have grown and gone now. We don't get to take those opening day pictures anymore. The ones with our children and their new backpacks and their new outfits, the ones that I've seen many of you share today and this week. Our friend Nick Coonan wrote on his Facebook page today, along with a photo of his four kids. He said, it's funny how Jamie and I get the kids ready for the first day of school, like they're getting ready to summit Mount Everest. Well, I know that a week from now, we'll be scrambling around in the morning like squirrels with our tails on fire. He goes on to say, start strong and settle into reality later. I remember those days. I also remember as a kid that every year the beginning of school was a fresh start. You know, in grade school it meant you got the new pencils and the new pink erasers, one of my favorite smells of childhood. And in middle school and high school, every first day of school was a do-over. This was the year I'd be less awkward, more confident, better liked, have more friends, do better in school. And in college, well, this was going to be the semester that I didn't fall behind in my reading. There's a good metaphor in there for the Christian life. God is always giving us the opportunity for fresh starts and do-overs, if we can make the most of them. Now, I know that many of you are beginning a new year with some trepidation, whether you're a student or a parent, a teacher or an aide. A lot seems unfamiliar and uncertain. And you are in my prayers and the prayers of our church. This is really a new start for you. Not getting back to something familiar, but blazing a new trail. You're having to learn how way too early in your lives, what many of our retired friends have, have told me that they've learned at the end of their careers. You know, they thought it was the building or the hours or the company that they worked for that defined who they were, that gave them their identity. And then when they retired, while well, many of them felt displaced, they struggled to find their, their place and their purpose again. And then with God's grace, they realized one day it wasn't the workplace or even the job that defined them. It was the gifts that God gave them to do the work that God gave them the purpose to fulfill. So those of you who are going back to school, a lot may seem unfamiliar. Your surroundings are different. You might feel separated from your friends. Your routines are disrupted. Heck, I have a hard time thinking about what high school would have been like without pep rallies and Friday night football games. But your purpose is the same. It's still to learn and grow and meet new people along the way and discover the gifts that God has given you, whether you're a, a student or a, a teacher or a parent, whether you're in first grade or your first year in high school or your first semester in college. One of the parents from our church, Crystal, shared this on Facebook today. It's not her original words. It's by somebody named Rachel Marie Martin. But these are wonderful words for, for those of you going back to school and for all of us, really. Don't give up on this year. Keep fighting for the good. Keep showing up. Keep loving. Keep giving back. Keep being kind. Keep being brave. Keep caring. Keep trying new things. Keep showing grace. Keep on. The world needs you to believe in the good. We'll see you next time.